This week on Brotherhood Outdoors. After an early morning, the Brotherhood Outdoors crew heads offshore for tuna. Josh Schward and Dan Scuda join USA's Forrest Parker in Louisiana as they battle fish after fish for some incredible tuna action. Brotherhood Outdoors is presented by Ulico, supporting the American worker for over 90 years. It's late August, and the Brotherhood Outdoors crew is fishing out of Venice, Louisiana with Captain Barrett. West Virginia's AFL-CIO President Josh Sward, along with retired NFL linebacker Dan Scuda, have done their part catching bait this morning and waste no time in getting their lines in the water for tuna. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> About 15 minutes. It's a break. I'm done. Get that back in. You know, he's got a pile of either tunas down there with him, or he's got them old brown fins looking at him. That ain't good. Took off, broke the harpoon off. I hate tuna. Broke the fish off. I really do hate them. My back's crushed right now. Teamwork makes dream work, baby. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, they got the bat in that hat right there. Yeah. Clock. <laughs> Great job, man. <laughs> Good job to you, man. It's like, that's only, that is the positive thing about tuna fishing, though. It's like, every fish, unless they're dinks, is like everybody's in the action. Right. Everybody's, it's a team fish, no doubt. I know one thing, I'm beat down. That little fish, well, it's a big fish, but it is hard work. Hard work. What a great fish. What a great honor to be out here fishing in the Gulf of Mexico for this tuna. Good deal. It's numero uno, baby. One of many. All Josh and I. Dan didn't do anything. <laughs> Dan, I mean, I couldn't even get Scooter to fight the fish, man. Like, see if you can pick him up, Dano. <laughs> it's not long into the morning, and the men already have tuna number one on ice. They move back into position, and within minutes, they're hooked up again. Oh, you know the drill now. It's going to suck for a little bit. You might as well just hold on to him. There you go. You got him. Yeah, stay tight. Give him all the hell he'll give you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, real, give him hell, son. Damn, oh, oh hold up, hold up. Nah, keep running, get ready, hurry. He's coming in. All right, hold on. Get real, pump him, you know what I'm saying? Smooth, smooth, real, real, real. Now keep running, there you go. There you go, real, you got him. You got him, for now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see how far we can get him in. Long as he, yeah, and then we'll switch it up. When you feel like you can get some, you know, we'll get some. But as long as he's sitting and doing that. I don't think we're getting anything right now. What do you, what do you got here, Josh? What he got, buddy? I think we got a whale. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Yeah. West Virginia boy, get in line. Oh yeah, go ahead and help him out. Have a little hunt. We got to pump first. Are you ready? All right. Yeah. When we switch off, you get his. You tell me when. You want to go a bit? I can. All right. Just give your belt to Dan. All right. You good? Yep, got it. All right, Dan, come here. You don't have to get stabbed. Here you go. I whooped him out for you. Good. Good job, bro. Yeah. Back to 120. 120. 150. 150. 180. Oh, my God. 200. <laughs> Here he You're toast. The belt broke. I can't help you, man. I'm done. That's great. It's all you, Big Dan O. Yeah, this, hey, this is when you're, you got to prove yourself on special teams. <laughs> yeah. Brawler, special teams brawler. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> this is punt return right now. Like, nobody remembers punt return unless somebody scores. All right. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. There you go. Big circles. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Ten inches at a time. You gotta finish this one yourself. It's why we brought you down right here, just because we love you. We want to put you through this. Because <laughs> we only do this for people we care about. Hold on, Dan. Hold on, Dan. Don't let go, Dan. No, man, thank you. <laughs> nice job. Oh. Wow. I'm done. I don't care if we catch eight more. <laughs> I'll film. I'm done. <laughs> Great work, man. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Wow. 
That is, it's like nothing I've ever, like nothing I've ever done. Wow. With fish number two in the boat, they decide to tie on a popper. And after just a couple casts, Dan hooks up. They were popping all over the back of the boat. And these guys were all getting set. So I ran up to the front and threw a, a topwater plug out there as far as I could. Popped it a few times and it just got smoked. <laughs> it was awesome. Probably the coolest hit I've seen in a, or probably ever experienced. It was awesome. Topwater tuna. The word is tuna time. It's tuna time, baby. Dan, we like lots of sashimi. Dan, he got one hooked up. We're gonna make all kinds of tuna. Tuna sandwich, raw tuna, tuna rolls. Tuna salad. Tuna salad. Yeah, tuna poke. Ceviche. Ooh, tuna yeah. ceviche. Tuna tacos. Tuna tartare. We're eating it all. He's a fighter. Yeah, be careful, boys. Oh, yeah. Drill down. Hell yeah, boys. Woo! Good job. Ah. Good job. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Ah. Boom. Appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Good job, Good job. to you. Hey, man. Right, that was a wrestle, wrestling match right there. Yep. Cool. There wasn't a whole lot left there. Yeah, what up? He was, he was close to getting away. Yeah. <laughs> Very close. him to work a little bit, is it? No, I mean, he needs to work a little bit for this. I mean, get him, Mark, get him. Yeah, good point. See my man Josh, he's vacating back here. How you doing, bud? Join the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, a, he's a little, oh, yeah. Oh, big shark, big shark, big shark. Robbed by vermin. Oh, right Look. That's not even the one that would eat. No, there's a big one that ate him, huh? I don't what like kind sharks. Of shark is that? It's just it's big duskies. Just part of it, man. You just hate to lose a half a tuna to a shark, you know. Why do sharks get to eat better than we do? I guess because they live in the ocean, but it feels it feels really unfair to me right now, but I guess the shark feels the same way. Well, it certainly wasn't how the men wanted their day to end but it was one to remember nonetheless. They spent the day working as a team, sharing laughs, and strengthening the bonds of the brotherhood.